You look at your life as you look into the future and say, what fears am I holding on to? What fears that I'm allowing to imprison me that's keeping me from breaking out? That's keeping me from living up to my true potential? That's keeping me from really being happy? That's keeping me from having a sense of adventure and excitement in my life? What's, what's keeping me from controlling my destiny? What fears that I'm giving that permission to? Notice what I said. That we must give our permission to fear to immobilize. I think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past and the pettiness. A reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious. You think you're with my time? You're delirious. Mysterious because you are behind a fake exterior. Inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me. All humans are stardust. All humans share a chemistry with all a biology with all other life on earth so why not look around and say i'm not special because i'm a different i'm special because i'm the same as you as others as the tree as the brook as the animals you know the woodland creatures and we can all sit here and look up at the night sky and say yes we have kinship with the cosmos i feel large because of that I think we're an evolved enough species to say, no, there is a right and a wrong. There's a better path and a, and, a, and a not so good path. There is a transcendent self, at least, to chase. A better self, a projection. I think it's fair to project and believe in a delayed gratification that, no, I want my life to have some escalation. Yeah, I know it's going to have its downs and ups, but I want it to have at the end at least to have a small ramp. Or what the hell are we doing here? Or what is evolution? You know, so at least to chase after that. I think like in life, you can get whatever you want, but you can't want whatever you want. If you don't want it, there's no creating it. And if you really wanted it, you would need this like inspirational podcast to make you make that decision. You'd already be fucking doing it. Um, and that's not it to be defeatist. It just means that like the only goal that anyone should have in life is one of happiness and fulfillment. And like this idea that you have to win to be happy could not be further from the truth. Why do we hear about rock stars and famous actors and these people that we see as sort of like the, the absolute apex of success in the industry? Why are they all fucking killing themselves and dying of alcoholism and like all that darkness happening at the highest level? It's like, because that doesn't equal happiness. Like, what is happiness for you? Your mind, your emotions, your body. You have a hundred percent control over what you do with these things. And that's where the game is won. You win the inner game, then you win the outer game. But a lot of people spent their life trying to win the outer game. They won and they're miserable. You look at your life as you look into the future and say, what fears am I holding on to? What fears that I'm allowing to imprison me that's keeping me from breaking out? That's keeping me from living up to my true potential. That's keeping me from really being happy. That's keeping me from having a sense of adventure and excitement in my life. What's, what's keeping me from controlling my destiny? What fears that I'm giving that permission to? Notice what I said. That we must give our permission to fear to immobilize us. Because whatever discomfort you experience, whatever challenges or difficulty that it is, you got to handle it. Got to go up in there and wrestle with it. Will it be easy? No. Will it be challenging? Yes. See myself confronting my fears, handling my fears. I'm more than able. If you're struggling, if you're frustrated with yourself, if you're at that point where you're so sick of yourself and your excuses, I've been there, Steven's been there. This is a normal part of the human experience. And at some point, either the pain is going to get big enough 
or you're going to bump into somebody's story somewhere on this planet who has been in the position that you're in right now. If you're above organizing what's actually yours, how in the world are you ever going to organize anything else? And so you get on your knees and you think, well, it's time to, you know, take a brush to the toilet. And maybe that's where you start. And so, and that works, like that works. You start making those micro improvements, like real micro improvements, real on the ground, actual micro improvements, the things you know that are wrong, you'll improve unbelievably rapidly. If you don't have hope, and you don't have this breakthrough where you have for just a millisecond, this insight where you go, well, what if things could be better? If you don't have that moment, most people stay so stuck in resignation. There are um, so many people that are not aware of how much better and how much more present and how much more joy they could experience in their life. See, when you are not filling your life with the things that you are capable of doing, see, we all have some stuff that we've been given. And I don't think that it's optional for us to sit on what we have. See, if you're sitting on what you have, what you've been given, I think everybody's been given something to bring to the planet, that only you can do that, only you can perform that, only you can initiate that activity. And if you don't do that, if you're not filling in your life with your life work or your mission, then there are gaps in your life. And what we do when we're not living out our true identity, we begin to fill the gaps, we fill the holes with garbage. Success is getting what you want. Fulfillment is living what you're made for. This is dreams we're talking about. We're talking about dreams. Can you train your brain to appreciate? Because in the middle of whatever you're pissed off about or frustrated or fearful about or worried about, you're deleting all the things you could be grateful for, you could appreciate that are absolutely real. Be your own motivator and you build yourself up. And that's the problem with the mind. You know, I want your listeners or viewers to really think about this. You do not experience life. You experience the life you focus on. That's it.